big question is to Takashi 6ix9ine, 9 stage. Now, a lot of people gonna jump right into this and be like, yeah, it's Takashi 6ix9ine, Takashi 6ix9ine, he gonna snitch, man, the boy ain't loyal. You know, that's why Adam 22's over there saying that the man ain't loyal, he gonna snitch. We all know he got it, the blood's overnight, all right, got in here overnight. Now, he said he wanted his gangs to test it, all right, the boy wanted the gangs to test it. Now, at this point, the Ferrales, the round lead him up, they test that gangster. Now they got him locked up in the big boy house, got to hit his first punch in the face, he lucky he ain't take his cookie, you know what I'm saying? He lucky that ain't happened off, off day one, all right, because he wanted his gangs to test it, all right. Now, homeboy end up over here with the FBI, take him to what they alleged is the safe house. Yeah, I hear everybody talking about it. so not a man in the safe house where snitch is known to go. Alright, so is the man a snitch? Who knows? But should he snitch? Hell no, he better not snitch. Everybody know what the streets is about. Everybody know what that gang stuff is about. Alright, that gang stuff is some real stuff. Alright, people on the gone, but still here, they still strong. Now he go up in there and he snitch. The least gangster thing you can do is snitch. So if Takashi 6 9 go up in here and he going telling on everybody now. Man, you, 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 you put yourself, you put hit on yourself pretty much, man. You, you pretty much risk your, his entire life for telling, all right? It don't matter at this point where you feel like his management did to him with his money and all that other stuff. It's real life now, man. Now you, you want to play the game. Now you got to do time. That's part of being a gangster, right? All right? So if you want to pass the test of having your gangs tested, it's time to do the time, man. You got to go up there. You, you got to go in with the big boys now. And if you don't. Not only will he be disrespecting the Bloods, all right, but he'll be disrespecting every other gang that know what it takes to be a gang, gang member, all right? Now, you screaming, you was hollering, it's time for you to go ahead and deal with the repercussions of trying to live life when you weren't really about that life. Go ahead, do the time, and, uh, man, dude, that's just how it go down sometimes, man. I mean, <laughs> you want to be gangster. I mean, look, look up the history of gangsters. Most of the gangsters, this is the eventual outcome, and the realest of them don't snitch because they're real gangsters. Now, you, you might think you're going to go in there and tell, and you're going to get out, and it's going to be all peaches and cream, huh? Nah, man, you got to get out of there, you got to leave the country, you know what I'm saying? You got to all tatted it up, you, you didn't ruin your, any kind of uh, secrecy you could have had, you know what I'm saying? That's over with, man, you walk around shining like a bright-ass rainbow, people chasing you like it's a pot of gold at the end of your ass. It's about that time for you, all right? You got to understand, you going to jail for a long time, suck it up, be a man about it, all right? You did the crime, do time, don't add snitching to your charges, all right? Because snitching is almost a death penalty. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, it, this ain't worth your life. All right, you, you, the, the rap game <laughs> ain't gonna take you back if you snitch either way. You gonna, we gonna go to rap game, really, really be surprised at how much people don't wanna fuck with you no more. Just, it, just you getting out is already gonna be bad enough. Better go ahead and serve that time, my man. Go ahead and serve that time. All right. Now, me personally, I don't give a fuck about Tasha Sick Now, but unless I'm talking about with YouTube, this kind of shit and this kind of matter, they ain't gonna recommend my shit. All right. So I stepped out of my normal creative altitude. To bring down this lower level shit. Talk about man, I don't even give a fuck about. Don't know nothing about, don't like goddamn music. But here I am. You probably see me for the first time. Like, who the fuck is this motherfucker? This was a motherfucker that was smart enough to figure out that the YouTube algorithm pick what the fuck it wanna pick based off of a hot topic and a hot topic alone. Don't matter how creative you are. Alright, so now if you seen this video, <laughs> alright, don't don't be upset. Just understand that you do could be in the shit out of you. If you just talk a bunch of shit about shit that you really don't know nothing about, talk shit about somebody else's career, talk shit about whatever it is they're doing, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, all right? I ain't never been a gangster. I come from, I come from hood, so I know about it, all about it, all right? But I ain't never been into none of that. So all the stuff I said in the beginning, yeah, it might hold some weight. There's some truth to it. But the bottom line is that stuff ain't really relevant to me, all right? So thanks, YouTube, for making us have to make shit that we really don't want to make, just to make it, all right? If y'all like the video, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you boys on the next.